it's that time of year again we've been in louisiana and i got lucky enough to be able to go spend five or six days out there the duck hunting was a little slow but my buddy gave the lawn put us on some geese speckle bellies had never strictly targeted speckle bellies you should try it it's awesome uh we joined forces with a group called cluckers and the guy's name was jacques bourgeois and man he could run this call it was cool just sit there and listen to him call these geese and not to mention we got to shoot a few in fact we killed limits um we had gabe we had jacques had cricket me and we had a buddy of ours from uh louisiana come join us a young kid will has been i've been hunting with will and his family for years and it was good to have him come along with us so hang on here we go speckle bellies in the rice fields in louisiana amy shoot him he's all the way to the right i don't want to talk about it <laughs> I think that goes under you got to pick your battles. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? If I could get her to pick up a, a, a wounded bird, dude, uh -huh. she'd be a phenomenal dog. She got great blind manners. And I think I think her not being able to see them, she doesn't get as fucked up. Uh huh. See Paul? Yep. Number what? Thank you. 
Whenever we called about this hunt, we like to shoot our guns and we like to make sure that there are ducks in the field that we're going to be going to, but this time it was geese and there were a lot of geese around this area, which you'll see. But he says, you'll limit out on your geese. And sure enough, we did. And just check it out. I mean, if you've never hunted speckle bellies, it's an awesome hunt. If you have hunted speckle bellies, <laughs> check out these guys, Cluckers and Thornwell or Lake Arthur, Louisiana, and they will take care of you, put you on some birds. Jacques Bourgeois, he can run this call. Vendetta call. That's why he who he hollers for, and he does it with skill. That was pretty, man. Oh, yeah. That was pretty. That Look at the snow. That was pretty, man. Yep. It makes for, for pretty, uh... That I was think the one. That's a double BB. Hey! Woo! No, I think he hit the water that hole. <laughs> <laughs> that was already plucked and everything, you know what I mean? He ain't breasting that one. Hey, pretty good, huh? Picked up some, shot at a few, and we got our limit. And it doesn't get any better than that. And we get a little chance here to talk with Jock and uh, JB, they call him. 
and just talk to them about the speckled belly and what he expects out of them and what we can expect when we kill one. What are we looking at? And it's a pretty cool time. Check this out. Jacques Bourgeois telling us all about these speckled bellies. All right, so tell me what about them? What, what's, what's the black on them? What's the black mean? What are the black bars? So a lot of people think that because it's, it's solid black, say like this, they think that that's the age of the bird. But that's a lot of genetics that, that causes the bird to have bars like that. From what I've been told is if you take the white on the face like this bird. Right. This is an older bird, how the white comes way back here. Right. And you have a juvie with, it still has a lot of gray in here, very right. little white. Your chest is, you're not going to have any bars on your chest. That's probably a, you know, first, second year bird. Right. That's a juvie. And then, uh, we've shot them where you have white that comes all the way back here around the eye and up over the top, underneath the jawline down here, and it'll come back up. Real old birds. Yeah, that's what they claim. Hey, uh, you should come out here and uh, and hit Cluckers Outfitters. We'll put the number on the screen if they allow us and ask for JD. He'll put you on some of these specs and probably some ducks and probably some snow geese at time to time. But we'll see you soon back on the Hall River Sportsman.